All right, welcome everybody. It's going to be the my trace for this Thursday, uh, August third, twenty twenty three. All right, so um, had a couple trades. Uh, took the natural gas. Also took the uh, took the mini Russell. Let's look at we're just going to look at natural gas right now. Um, both of these trades were put on, I uh, believe, prior to. Uh, the uh, the opening bell for the Dow, um, but I entered gas around nine eighteen, actually nine seventeen. Uh, it was what we call a pairing pattern buy, uh, and I was only going for my first target. It did hit target, so I mean, just pretty much um, textbook trade. So pairing pattern set up. Now, if you watched my video that I put out last night. I talked about one of the patterns, HF1. Um, if you would like to watch that video, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link uh, at the very end of this video. Be looking for that and just click on that link. You can watch that video. I talk about HF1 and and kind of how I use that, these patterns with the Einstein levels. So this is actually an Einstein projected level. And uh, so once I enter, then uh, I'll just go particularly with natural gas. As I've mentioned, I do get multiple levels, but I'm just going for the very first level, first target. And so I went ahead and got out of natural gas. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at, and we'll, we'll look at the, uh, the overall results here in just a minute uh, for the indices and natural gas. But let's take a look at uh, the stock trades that I made this morning. First one, uh, out of the gate. Uh, I put that one on. It was RBT. Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't RBT. It was uh, UV, uh, UVIX. UVIX. Let's look at UVIX. All right, so here's a UVIX trade. Once again, this is going to be an HF1 buy on UVIX. I did have uh, several uh, levels up here that Einstein was projecting, but I didn't want to go further than the first level um, only because I'm trying to scalp these I'm not looking to catch any big runs on some of these uh, a lot of them tend to just kind of fade out right after the opening so if I can hit uh, the first level prior to the 930 opening I'm just going to take it and that's what I ended up doing here HF1 buy took the small profit did not go for level two and uh, so I made a nice little profit on UVIX. And then the next one that I made, uh, let's see here. This was right after the opening bell was on Cook, C-O-O-K. Let's look at that trade, and then we'll look at the overall results for the day. All right, here's Cook trade. So once again, another HF1. Had a lot of HF1 buys today, which is one of my favorite patterns, HF1. Um, so I did enter. Mark was fairly thin when I got in. It was around 8. 40, I think right there, 845, 844, something like that. Uh, and I did have pretty two tight levels over here on Einstein that were fairly close. Um, the idea was just to get out on level one, but it blasted through pretty quickly through level two. I was waiting to see if it went farther. As soon as I started seeing red, I went ahead and got out and took my profit on Cook. So that was a nice little trade, and let's take a look now at uh, what else I traded, because my biggest trade came in my carryover, if you recall from yesterday. I, I did carry over MEDS. Uh, I, in fact, I even left some on the table. So um, left some on the table, but still not a, not a bad trade for MEDS. Um, I did trade um, XXII. Um, RBT, RBT, trade a little bit of RBT, I believe that came in late in the day. Uh, let's see what else. Um, MIRA just wasn't going anywhere and it, it started to really, it started to hit it. So I went ahead and got out to gloss on MIRA. Everything else just kind of in and out and just taking those. Taking those little, trying to get those little profits in there. Of course, MEDS was a carryover. That's why I had a big trade there. Nice on UVIX. That went through several level, se several levels before I got out. So, and overall, just a great day. These last several days have been really, really good. Always catch in at least 
one of the big runners. So um, I do put out this watch list. It comes out every single morning. And um, nine times out of ten, I'm going to have one of the runners on that watch list. So um, if you would like to uh, be a part of that, and also if you'd like to watch me trade live longer than the, just the first 30 minutes, you can join my Discord channel. And that can be found on my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. It's only $50 a month. You don't need to um, purchase a package. Um, I will teach you how to do this if you're interested. But if not, for $50, you have a full month access uh, to the watch list. Uh, you have access to watching me trade off of that watch list or anything else that pops up. I do put out a watch list of um, the commodities and the indices I'm going to be watching for the day as well. So, and then of course on the mini Russell, made a little bit on the mini Russell natural gas. Only had one trade each: one on the mini Russell, one on natural gas. Uh, I didn't trade the mini Nasdaq, uh, and I didn't trade the ES. Both had some really nice trades. I didn't take them. I just took the mini Russell, the natural gas. But anyway, overall, a really good day. So that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up. Once again, um, stay tuned to the end of this video. There should be a link there, so you can watch a um, short little video that I did yesterday on the HF1 pattern, and using Einstein to um, provide me with profit targets, as you see here with uh, with all these trades. All right, y'all have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. First thing in the morning, at uh, hopefully. Yeah, well, let's see. We're going to do it at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Eastern Time in the first 30 minutes is available to everybody. And then after that, I do go into Discord and I trade for the next several hours. All right. See you tomorrow.